Good morning and welcome to UND's weather update. My name is Dylan Vogt. Taking a look outside, we have some beautiful sunny skies out there. However, temperature is minus 10 right now. Wind out of the west at 15 miles an hour. That's a cold wind, bringing that wind chill to a chilly minus 32 degrees. We're not the coldest across the nation right now. Great Falls, Montana at minus 19 and the coldest temperatures, eastern Montana, western North Dakota. As you head south, this cold air mass stretches all the way down to parts of Texas. Temperatures right now across the region, everybody is below zero. If you factor in that wind chill, we're well below zero. Minneapolis, minus 12. As you go up here to the north, minus 29 in Fargo, minus 39 in Minot, and at Glendive for their wind chill temperatures right now. With those cold wind chills, we are in a wind chill warning for these gray counties up here along the Canadian border. They expire on Sunday at 12 p.m. We also have this wind chill advisory that is in effect later this, until later this week. Down here as we move south, winter storm watch for parts of Kentucky and Tennessee and some winter weather advisories. With that winter storm watch and a winter weather advisory, of course they have some snow down here, pretty rare for Tennessee to see, to see snow. As we go down to the southeastern part of the U.S., there are some storms rolling across Georgia. Moving into our area, our satellite is showing some clouds here, but however, the ground temperature is so cold, the satellite, infrared satellite that is, is mistaking the cold ground for clouds. So actually, our entire region right now is clear. For Almanac, the big story right here is our record low. We're not really gonna touch it at minus 39, set back in 1899. And for our normal is 20 degrees, and we're we well below that as we go throughout the day today. For forecast headlines, the same forecast headlines we've had for the past week. A wind chill warning, close to zero, and we might get colder this weekend, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. For our future cast, we have some strong westerly winds that they will persist throughout into the evening tonight. And as we go throughout the night tonight and tomorrow morning, those winds will die down throughout the overnight hours. However, as we get into tomorrow, those winds are going to start to pick up once again, and we're going to have another chilly day in the forecast for tomorrow. Today in Grand Forks, high temperature of minus three. It's going to be sunny though, but those winds out of the west at 15 to 20, gusting up to 25, are going to make our wind chill to minus 30 degrees. Future weather today, it's going to be cold. We have below zero for the northern half of the viewing area. As we go to the south here, you can see above zero temps if you're in the right spot. Tonight, we're going to drop down to minus 18 degrees, mostly, mostly clear skies. Wind chill, minus 35 with those winds dying down a little bit, 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, minus 4 degrees, sunny again, cold once again. West wind, 10 to 15, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Future weather for tomorrow, it's like I'm repeating today. It's the same, it's pretty much the same kind of deal. We have the colder temperatures to the north below zero, and you might be above zero if you are somewhere in the southern half of our region. For our seven day forecast, pretty uniform, it's gonna be cold. We might have our coldest temps this season though as we go into Friday into Saturday. Those low temperatures, check about minus 30 possible Friday night into Saturday, minus 23 into Sunday morning. But as we go into President's Day, we might once again be above zero.